welcome back to Jack Snacks. Today we're going to take a look at the Grateful Dead classic, I Know You Rider. So before we get into the solo and stuff like that, let's take a look at, just make sure everybody knows what we're soloing over, okay? The harmony underneath this is D. Okay, then C. Then G. And back to D. And then the same form, D. C. G. Back to D. All right, this is... Then we come up to F, C, F, C, E minor, D. Lather, rinse, repeat, okay? And I'm gonna give you two times through um, worth of uh, licks and solos and stuff like that, which you should be able to commingle with what you already know to serve, you know, the various purposes that you need. Like, oh, I need something cool to go over top of that F to C bit. All right, so um, hang tight and I'll break down the solo I just did note for note. Okay. okay, so we're gonna start pre-bent to the uh, F note. Not, you can, you can bend up to there. That's gonna sound fine too. I did a F. Garcia, I found, likes to imply the blue tone right before the downbeat of the home chord, and that's what this is, playing over. So that's... So we're going to pre-bend up to 10 from 9 on the G string. Release. 7G. Back to 9 on the D now. Adding in our A note here, again, index finger, seventh fret, D string. Then we flatten out our index finger to tag the root again. All right, and don't be afraid to make some of the notes dominant and some, uh, when I say dominant, I mean louder and some more recessive. Okay, that lends an awful lot of uh, conversation to the line, right? It makes it seem a little less, uh, you know, preachy. Okay, so then once we hit that, we come back to there, to that B note, and then our middle finger is on the A string, slides down from flat three to two, and then to the root. Okay, so now we've hit the downbeat on that D, okay, and then we're going to go on to the next little chunk. So that's our next little line, okay? So we started out with, and now we're gonna start fifth fret, A string, D note, index finger. Ring finger comes up a minor third, and then plays into the major third. So that's again, pedaling off that five, six, five. Right, so those are intervals. Frets would be seven, nine, seven. Okay, back to the tonic. Okay, stop it short, that, that, that's kind of like a period. Okay, then we jump. Okay, we come up here to the ninth fret index finger. Slide with our middle finger into what looks like a little partial D chord. Okay, again, stop short on that B note at the 12th fret B string. And then bend up one fret into the C, okay? And that bend corresponds with the C chord. So then we release down to B and then come back to the A note here on the B string, 10th fret and bend up. Release it back from B to A, then hit it, and then grab the ninth fret B string with our middle finger and do a one fret bend, okay? 
Okay, this one fret, the semitone bend is 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 one of the secrets to getting the Garcia thing together. Okay, not a whole tone bend. Okay, so all in. <laughs> Okay, so if we remember the form, we've just played through our first time of going D, C, G. Now we get to do that again, okay? We were in this position. Okay? Now we're gonna do this kind of line. Okay, as again, it's one of these lines that we're soloing over top of D on our way back into D. So we get a chance to kind of build tension before that downbeat, just like we did on the to go okay and then all that is a wind up before the actual downbeat okay so we're in this position so you can go or kind of chef's choice there okay This is a very, okay, we're gonna kind of do that, but we're gonna displace that last line up an octave. So we chromatically come down, ring finger comes to the F and slides up. Tonic, okay. Then again, F, E, D, okay? So Garcia loves to mix up the, he likes to blur the lines between the major third, the minor third, and the two. He likes to use these three notes, okay? On the way up, he'll use the flat three into the major third, and on the way down, he'll use flat three into two on its way to the tonic, okay? Okay, so that's a line. All right, and then by hook or by crook, get up into, and that's our downbeat, I think. Yep, that last D is our, that last note is our downbeat, so. Okay. stretch often or I'll just do if you won't, don't like stretching but it kind of gets clumsy in there so okay and that's just again our little little D chord okay Look at that chunk, okay? There's some there's some fancy pants stuff going on in there. This is kind of where I break away from doing Garcia's trademark stuff and start mixing some of my own junk in there. Okay, so um this pivot lick. Okay, and then it goes into a sequence. So make sure you articulate each note between this A and the D. You don't want it to sound like you want it to be. So you're kind of pumping and pivoting, not, okay, so two distinct notes, okay, and I use a lot of that kind of, very muted in there so it gets nice and punchy, all right, and some big accents, okay. So we're climbing up the D mixolydian scale. So these are So at the end we have this faster. Okay. Okay, so one, two, three. So 
So once we bent up to that C, we're hitting the C chord. And then we're gonna release from C to B, which is the third of our G, right? So we just played through the D. Right? And we're gonna come right down the, the, uh, the G major arpeggio, you know, the chord here. But we're just gonna do it backwards. And much like that pivot look, you gotta make sure you're articulating each note in the G major chord. And then I quickly come strum back up. All right? So all in. Okay. Now we're going back to our D chord. So over the D, we're doing a kind of a D major arpeggio. So we're sliding up from flat three into three. So that's slide up into three at 14 high E string. I may have gone that like, I think I did that. back to our D and that's a uh... so this is the lick that has, comes at the end of the D chord on its way to F finally so okay okay so this is kind of a transitional lick Okay, and what am I doing? I was just, we just played that big uh, descending D arpeggio. Okay, then I slide starting with my ring finger. So that's gonna be 12 to 14 on the low E, and then 14, uh, 12 to 10 on the D. And this lick kind of revolves around this idea of sliding up and then sliding back, okay, from, a non chord tone into a chord tone, and then from a chord tone into a kind of a color tone. Okay, and there we go. Now we're going to flip that. So the next little vibe is same frets, okay, 12 to 14 with the same finger, except on the G string. I'm just going to go back from 12 to 11. Okay, then we're going to... Okay. Okay, so... And that's the transition. Okay, once we hit that, that's just a one fret bend here from the uh, 17th fret. So that's transitioning from E to F, okay? Okay, so one, two. So three times through this little. And then we do. We were just in that position. See, that's part of, that's the third and the root of our D chord. Okay, we're bending up into that F. Okay, this is the back half of the F to C section, okay? So we just played. So that's finally hitting the F. Okay, 
Okay, and we're gonna come right here to the 15th fret high E and hit that G. And that's just a C major chord. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start with an accent on that G. And that's a pull off from F to E. And that should give you enough time to do the downstroke, pull off, and then rotate and come back through like a nice little sweep. But remember, you gotta articulate each note. See how my fingers are kind of coming off. Okay, I'm not doing. All right, so be careful, okay? Okay, and then, so if we do. Okay, we've got to come up and tag that F again. Now we're going to bend whole step from G to E. Okay, so that right there, that's still the C chord. Okay, and then we have to tag that E minor. So if you look at those three notes, right? that G, B, and E, that's an, e, that's an E minor arpeggio, so. That's an E minor arpeggio. And we're bending from E up to F sharp, which is the third of our D chord, which we're resolving to. So all, the, all in, we'd go. Of vibrato there at the end, okay? All right, and it's a lot of chromaticism. So it's out of this D major shape, okay, and it's up here at the 17th, 17th and 19th fret. Um, pinky starts here on the C note, okay, and that's going to be at the 20th fret, okay? So we're going to do. So four pull-offs. Then we're going. So it's a you know it's a sequence or whatever symmetric fingering, the uh, ring middle index ring middle index. Okay, alternate picked. That's our first bit. Okay, clock that. Okay, it's the middle finger playing the minor third and then over the D. So again, F into F sharp up to A, okay? And then we start our little descending. Okay? So once we do, we shift, play again F to F sharp then come back here with our index finger and come up chromatically. Okay? Okay, so the timing on that can be a little weird because, you know, you just, uh, it's a lot of notes to keep track of. So, so if we, if we look at that still coming out of the, uh, the timing on it relative to the uh, line that precedes it okay all right hang on tight there's there's more stuff coming up so we're about to start in on the progression proper I suppose this is where the downbeat comes on so that's all, all over the D chord and making its way into our C chord and I'm resolving up to this G note which is the fifth of the C chord Okay, so if you look, it's gonna, it looks confusing because there's lots of fingers on the fingerboard, but if you see what I'm doing, I'm kind of targeting the one, the three, the five, the one, and the three of a D chord shape like this. Now granted, it's, it, that's, that's, that's like a C chord, right? Brought up two frets and then brought up 12 frets, okay? So 
if you're not familiar with that shape, you got you got to you got to change that fact. Okay. So I, I'm starting here on the downbeat with my I'm using my ring finger so that I always have the finger behind it. So I'm going. And then relying on the chromaticism of coming up into that that last note there is the fifth of our C chord. So again, upstroke, pinch harmonic, and the, the little one fret bend with some some sweet vibrato. So this is kind of a deliberately uh, avoiding the third. Till we finally hammer onto it. So we're doing a pull off with our pinky at the 15th fret high E back to the 10th fret high E string D note. So that's root five of the G chord. Okay, then we're gonna do that note right there, gives it that nice bright open sound, that ninth, okay? Sorry, the guitar's a little out of tune now. <laughs> All right, so anyway, so that. Uh, That's the lick. I think I did something like that. Okay, so I think I'm using a uh, consecutive upstrokes and then okay, and then more open, uh, more consecutive downstrokes. Okay, so then we move into this little uh, that's the melody that I'm implying okay there's some ornamentation in there okay little slide and then these little kind of grace notes So there's some there's some little nuanced stuff in there. We end on our third of our D chord. All right. Okay. This is probably the uh, hardest lick in the in the bit, okay? So again, it's one of these lead ups to the down, down beat, okay? And we're trying to hit that high D note, which is a three fret bend from B. So minor third. That is, that is a lot to do after all that sweeping. So um, it's not like metal sweeping, but we are kind of arpeggiating. Um, what we're doing. So the right hand is pretty simple. Look at it. Okay, so it's just coming straight down. I, when it gets busy like this, I try to minimize pick strokes because um, it can get kind of cluttered. And also, it's just it's another thing to worry about. Okay, so let's just look at the right hand. Okay, so it's just, just letting gravity take it right through. Okay. Middle finger at the root, third, okay, so it's gonna be the uh, F sharp there with the index finger and slide up to um, the fifth. Okay, then hammer on. Hammer on to the B note with our ring finger and then finally pick again on that D note at the 12th fret. Same kind of trick. Pick, rest on the G, hammer on slide. Okay, now we're right here and we're ready to do like a little D chord shape. Right? Oh. Now 
we got, we're gonna have to pick some consecutive notes on the uh, D on the high E string. Okay. And then Ben. We gotta really tag that D. Okay. So that's uh, that note. Okay. Okay. And once we're up there, then we've got more to play. I'll be back in a second with that. All right, so hopefully you've climbed the mountain of that big sweep lick. Okay, just so you know, that's F sharp, G, A, B, and make sure you get the ring finger doing those last two notes. Okay, and that way you can really, you know, clench and, and bend up that the third. You can. If you want to, you can opt for using your pinky and do a two fret bend. Okay, it sounds different to me. Um, also, I'm weaker with the pinky. Uh, I don't know why, but this I can really choke. But if I do this, it pulls my thumb back and I can't really seem to bend the same way. Um, you can also cheat with just a one fret bend. And for the purposes of this lesson, I'm going to start this lick in that shape so that I don't uh, turn my fingers into meat. Um. Um. Oh, sorry, that was that note is actually correct. So if we start here, okay, pretending that we've bent up the three frets, okay? Okay. Then we're gonna go, so we're kind of slide it down. So that's gonna be six, five. Then we're gonna slide here. Okay, okay. Okay, so we're gonna do six, five. Then we're gonna go three, two, one. Then we're gonna go right here at the, what is that, the 17th fret G string. One fret, okay, from C to B to A. Okay, so that's, sorry. Sorry. Okay, and it just fell under my fingers, so I just kept going with it. Okay, so why that E note? Okay, because that's the downbeat of the C chord, so that's the third of our C chord, so. So over C, that's the C chord, so. Okay, so that's the downbeat of C. Two, three, four, G, okay? Two, three, four. And that's our next little chunk. So after our big uh, little slidey bit, you know, all these guys, that's the downbeat. Two, three, four. So a pretty simple G major arpeggio. Two, three, four. So uh, we've come up to G. All right, and we're about to release into the D chord. nice little arpeggios of the D mixolydian sound. Okay, so what do we have there? We're doing uh, a triplet. So that's down, pull off, up. And then again, down, pull off, up, pull off, down. Okay, so we're coming through a group of three and then a group of five to round out the measure. So that is pull off from the middle finger, 12th fret. Pull off from the third finger, 13th B. So that's how that's a D7 chord, right? With that nine added in there for a good measure, I guess. Okay, so we're right there. I'm ready to hit that C note with our pinky. 
So that's again, pull off, upstroke, backtrack, pinky, back to, uh, from B to G. Okay. Then into our little D chord formation. You can do it here, but it just makes it easier to keep backtracking. kind of do a little D chord shape, followed by a little C chord shape, followed by a little B minor shape to a, to a D with the third in the bass. Okay. And there is a little gliss from that. Okay. Two notes on that C. Uh, C chord, rather, the G note. Pull off back to B. Okay. And then up to F. Okay, one, two, three, and... So D, E, F. Okay, and then we're in, that's the downbeat of the bridge. Gonna miss your baby from rolling in your arms. That's our last little line, all right? Um, starts out with uh, a wink and a nod to anybody who is familiar with uh, the Grateful Dead's material. That's, um, <laughs> I can't help it, but whenever I hear that F Lydian sound, I always think of a terrapin. That... So I stuck it in there just to be cute, um, which, you know, granted it's time travel okay that, that song didn't appear on uh, Garcia's horizon for several years after this one um, anyway uh, so as we come to that F Lydian chord we're not gonna play it with that uh, that tempo we're gonna actually play it straight because we're over rider okay so if we go okay so we're gonna slide Okay. Bend from D up to E and give it some wiggle. Okay, and now over the F chord into C to E minor. So F and then into C. Right? And that's E minor back to D and then I kind of went to a blues sound uh, just to toughen things up for the end okay so that's F bent up like a quarter tone that's D C D So that's going to wrap up today's episode of Jack Snacks. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please share, like, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Hit the like button. Do all that stuff to help me out on my YouTube page. I really do appreciate it. Okay? Take care and uh, keep on picking. All right? Signing off from Brooklyn, New York. Adios.